Okay, Linda Steele, thank you, handsome Brad. Ready for things to get a little awkward? You're switching to cider now. Uh, well, I thought, you know, it's it, this, yeah, this requires like... a strong bow. This is a, this is a strong... <laughs> I had my nude ready to go, and then I'm like... Okay, this deep is breath, because... What? Did we... Oh, we're doing our uh, subliminal is this our blues. We're kind of our military policing blues. I think so. For this segment, um, the next two segments. Yeah. Awkward. Okay, and it is going to be a little bit awkward because to set the scene, we're okay. talking about the situation Serious. in Surrey around policing. As you know, the RCMP have been policing Surrey for many, many years, but four years ago, council unanimously voted to replace the RCMP with a municipal police force that was more responsive to the community and didn't answer to Ottawa. Right. So, uh, this part that makes it awkward is that my husband is the chief of the Surrey Police and for the last two years has been building this brand new police department and they're about 43% of the way there. Have hired 350 people and then this week the brand new mayor, Brenda Locke, who had campaigned on wanting to keep the RCMP called for a vote and it was narrow and it was a 5-4 vote to go back to the RCMP. Are you getting confused now? I am. need a flow chart to keep track. Yeah. Anyway, so she said, I order Chief Lipinski to stop hiring, stop spending. And Norm said, bye, we talked to the province and the province said, no, you'll carry on with the trilateral plan, which has been carefully negotiated with the federal government, the province and the city for the last two years. There's a union. And you will carry on with that plan until there's a new plan. And yeah. there is not a new plan because, and I'm going to, yeah, go, <gasps> go. one more thing. Take, take a breath, take a breath and then Randall keep going. Locke and the city are putting together a report to the province on how they will unwind it. And the Surrey Police Service is putting together a report on how it's too far gone and it doesn't make sense to unwind it. Whew. Anyway, it's a lot, honey. What's awkward about this is that people have said to me, why are you not talking about this on the show? Oh, you chickens, you're not talking about this no, because of your husband. And then people say, how, how dare, dare you? you talk about it because it's your husband and you're biased. So I can't win and I'm laying that on the table. So we all had a meeting with Hanson Brad. Thank you for the top up, by the way. This is why I needed the hello. Uh, we had a meeting where we talked about this. It is a huge story. It is a huge, I don't live in Surrey. Somebody actually told me, I don't get an opinion on Surrey because I don't pay taxes there. I said, you know what? Last I checked, I am allowed to have an opinion, as are you, as are most people. <laughs> in fact, you're paid people. to have an opinion. I am paid to have it. Yeah. But it's interesting how politicized this has all become, Linda. And full, full disclosure, Linda and I are very good friends. We are mostly colleagues. We have been mm -hmm. colleagues for years. We've become very good friends mm -hmm. over this last year and a bit. Um, I've only met Norm in person one time. So if you want to say, oh, well, you're taking, somebody actually said that, you're just protecting your sidekick there. I'm like, yeah, you know what? She's brilliant. <laughs> this is a woman who knows how to do her due diligence on a story, though. But yeah. you would not come on here and just rattle off a bunch of stuff based on being the wife of, period. Now, let me so just... I, just want, I just want that to be out there. Okay. Cause... And let's take the politics out of this Please. and talk about what's really on the table. Okay. The point of switching away from the RCMP to a municipal force was to have more local accountability. The right. RCMP are kind of like a giant BC ferry. And they rotate, Something right? Something happens, they can't pivot quickly because Ottawa has to agree, it can take years. The Surrey Police Service is more like a jet boat. So, oh, there's something specifically happening at this area in Newton or whatever, Whoop, we can pivot, we can deal with it, we can make a decision immediately in Surrey. So that's being lost in the what about the money? Oh, you have to choose between Brenda Locke and Doug McCallum, apparently. And I don't I don't care to choose between those people, but I do care to choose that citizens are safe in Surrey and everywhere. And that is what is at stake here and what is at risk here. And everybody wanting to fight about the politics of this is really frustrating to watch from afar. And moreover than that is the tax dollars being spent, Linda, because the they must stop now. We're going back to an RCMP. How much is that going to cost? Okay, well, it's estimated with buyouts and what have you, $188 million. But let's talk about public safety. So in November, the next 35 SPS officers who are currently in being vetted by our RCMP who for security clearance. may have moved here from wherever. Right. They're hit, set to hit the street. That means there will be... Um, 350 police officers hired by the SPS. 
if Brenda Locke's success was that, boop, you're all gone. So what happens to Surrey when it is suddenly short 350 police officers? We are going to be talking to someone from the VPD responsible for recruiting who's related to Jody. It's going to be awkward. awkward. It's going to be awkward. And they have a big challenge just trying to come up with an extra 100 that the new mayor wants. Yeah. So there's that issue. There's the issue of a union. The Surrey police has a union. Established. Would the NDP government friend of labor Dissolve? want to be responsible for tossing 350 people out of their jobs and dissolving a union? That's going to be a difficult decision. And, and the hybrid model has been tossed around as well. That No, it doesn't work. They have come to, for one thing, one of the reasons that there is a lot of money that has been spent was that the Surrey police had to create their own IT system. In the beginning, because they were going to be embedded with RCMP, they said, can we create a hybrid IT system where we can piggyback off yours? RCMP said no, because they don't want to go. They don't want the SPS. They don't want them to exist. So it's messy in there. So they had to create mm. their own IT system, which they've already spent getting close to $20 million on. The RCMP doesn't need that. They already have their own IT systems. That just go like, throw the money out the window. Um, there's just so many, this is like a Hydra-headed sort of a situation. And this is only the first time we're going to talk about this on Steel and Vance because we can talk about whatever we want. <laughs> oh, well, well, cheers to that with your cider. Uh, and there you go. You can call me okay. biased or not, but I've been embedded. You're not biased. Literally embedded with the chief for two years. So Wait, I know embedded a lot. or in bed with? <laughs> Both. Oh, things just Both got really them. awkward. Okay, uh, we got to go. So Hold you on. can say, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I actually know a lot. However, coming you up next, let's make it awkward for her. Okay. You know the Vancouver Council's pledged to hire 100 new police officers. How exactly are they going to do that? We'll find out from Jody's cousin, next BPD recruiter, <laughs> Sergeant Cindy Vance. <laughs>